welcome back to BMW Fanatic. Now in this video I'm going to be trying just a little quick reset as far as on my BMW 335i surrounding my electrical issues that I was having. If you haven't watched that video I'm going to post it there up at the top. Go ahead and check that out. So what's really strange is that I'm having certain bulb check error codes however all my bulbs are perfectly working fine. Now, I'll have the hyper flash, which I do have LED front turn signals and side marker turn signals, but they have load resistors and canvas in there as far as uh, to not hyper flash and of course not throw error codes. I've had those two specific ones on my car for over two years now, and they have never caused me an issue. So like I said, I'll get that hyper flash when I turn the turn signal on, but if I use my hazards, it does not hyper flash. So I'm gonna do a quick little reset pull the power off the battery, see what happens, see if they reset or come back right on right away and then further diagnose it from there. I need to do a new module for that section. Then, you know, if that leads up to it, then of course I'll buy that and replace that. So let's go ahead and get started. This will be a quick little check, see if it works or not. And then we're gonna go to the next step. Upon getting in the trunk, you're going to twist it to the left. That way it's going to pull the piece out and you can remove your tray that covers the battery itself. You're going to lift open the little flap so that way you can expose the main power line uh, to the battery. Go ahead and grab a 13 millimeter socket so that way we can loosen it off and take it off so it can reset. Take your 13 millimeter, let the loosey ready tidy, and then to pull off the line. Once you get that done, go ahead and put your 13 millimeter nut back on, connect the power to the battery. Uh, once you're done with that, take your 13 millimeter socket and go ahead and tighten. Once you have that ready, you're gonna go ahead and close off the area where the battery is, place the tray in at an angle. Once you do so, you're gonna lock it in place. Uh, place that in, turn to the right, so that way you can lock it, and then therefore you are good to go. I still have all the bulb check error codes that came up on the car, so it's still acting up. Uh, I'm going to be ordering all new bulbs again, so I'm gonna do all new LED turn signals. I'm gonna go with the same brand that I have right now through IGADM Toy. They have really been good to me because I have a bunch of other LEDs on my car that I've had even longer than that with no issues whatsoever. They're inexpensive, and I know that they work, so we'll do that and then uh, we'll place those out. So you'll get to see how to do the front turn signals even they're pretty easy to do. Uh, and then of course, all the rear bulbs, I'm gonna just replace them all and then see what comes up. You know, So since they're inexpensive and I need to probably replace them anyways, we'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, and then if I still have the same exact error codes coming up after I replaced all the bulbs that are impacted on there, so then I know I have an FRM issue and then I'll need to replace that next. That'll be my last step. So I'm gonna further diagnose that piece just to ensure that it is that and it's not something else before I replace something. I mean, bulbs are easy to replace. They're cheap, they're inexpensive. Uh, and you know, I can just go ahead and do that. But as far as more expensive units or bad wiring or anything else like that, I'm gonna take it step by step before I buy anything. Take you guys along for the ride. Well guys, thanks again for stopping in. And as always, please be sure to subscribe, like, and like, comment. See you soon.